Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews. So the government shuts down all the bars and restaurants and tells you to quarantine yourself in your house. And you're like, oh, it's cool. I got a large supply of beer. I'm good. But then you remember, you're on a low calorie, low alcohol beer diet for the next month. This is gonna be awesome. Oh man. So today we're gonna to be checking out dogfish. Whoa! I caught it. I caught it. It's probably gonna shook up though now. That pour is gonna stink. Although I do an aggressive pour anyway. So today we're gonna to be checking out Dogfish Head's slightly mighty low calorie IPA. This beer comes in at a 4% ABV. A30 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.49. It also comes in at 95 calories and 3.6 carbs. A low cal IPA that is slight in calories and carbs to mighty hop flavor. Slightly Mighty has all the flavor and tropical aromas of a world-class IPA, but with only 95 calories, 3.6 grams of carbs, 1 gram protein, and 0 grams of fat. Brewed with local grown barley and a touch of monk fruit that delivers body and complexity but adds zero calories or carbs. Slightly Mighty is a light body and offers a lingering balance of sweetness. Okay, so I'm not going to lie, I've actually already had this beer before. In fact, this will be the third time trying it. I wanted to do that, so I actually got a good taste of this beer as a low-calorie, possible substitute, everyday drinking type beer. So, with that in mind, let's get into it. Uh, looks, it actually looks very nice. Golden, uh, slightly hazy, can't really see through it, um, just shadows. So looks very pleasant, wonderful white looking head, very frothy, marshmallowy. Aroma, eh, it, it smells hoppy, it smells grassy. There's, there's a bit of actually orange peel I get, so I get some candy orange. But you're still not gonna get one of those like big juice bombs. Don't expect that. So let's dive in. Okay, at first taste, it's interesting because you know it's a low calorie beer and you're going in for flavor. And right away, I think there's just this roller coaster ride of flavors and they happen very fast. You're sitting there thinking to yourself, this is a low calorie, probably gonna taste, you know, like a Bud Light or something along that line. No, actually, for a low calorie beer, a lot of flavor. Now, is that flavor good? Well, is there hop flavor? Yes, there's hop flavor. But there's also this interesting fruitiness, weird sugariness, sweetness that's going on. And I'm pretty sure it's not the malt. I'm betting it is that monk fruit that they put in there as a sweetener of some kind. Once you get a taste for monk fruit, you can really pick it out in this beer. Now, do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you get used to it? Personally, I actually got used to it by the end of the second can and started actually enjoying the second can. The very first can I had, didn't really like this beer at all. Um, thought this was gonna be horrible. And right now, my expectations of tasting it are actually come back down, it's right in the middle. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's one of those I think with the right food and the right moment works very well. The second can of this I had, I was doing yard work and did want something to quench my thirst with some flavor. It's good and it's not. It really all depends on how you want to drink this beer. As a standalone, hey, I want a beer and I want to drink it, I don't know if this is that kind of a beer. Possibly meal substitute of, I want a hoppy beer with a meal, but I don't want to go too aggressive on the calories. You could probably get away with this. As a lawnmower beer, I think it has good 
complementary flavors for working outdoors, sweating, and wanting some kind of refreshing beverage with enough flavor to back that up. And with the low calories, the low alcohol, you're probably not gonna sit there and take your chainsaw and accidentally cut your arm off because you're drunk. This is gonna be good, but you're gonna have decent flavor in your mouth. It's not just gonna be a Bud Light. So, in that sense, this is a great beer. So, if you're in the market for a new low calorie, lawn mowing, yard working beer, I would check out Dogfish Head Slightly Mighty. But if you're looking for a beer to just, well, I wanna drink it and that's it and be low calorie, I don't know if this is gonna be it. So, we'll see if any of the other low calorie beers I do can fit that criteria or others. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Follow me on all my other social media stuff. The links will be at the very bottom of the description. So while you're down there, go ahead and leave a comment or two because I know you're going to want to talk to me about this because I know there's plenty of people out there that are already bugging me about this. Yes, yes, you all get to drink better beers than me. Thank you for letting me know. April 1st, I'm going to be opening up so many rare stuff and like none of you were invited. And I'm probably not even gonna film it. I'm just gonna glug, 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 glug. Maybe I'll film the aftermath, I don't know. But anyways, comment or two, see you guys later.